Ahoy hoy, and welcome to the video. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real daughter, and today we are going to go over the dank memes from the Dank Memes of Site 19 subreddit. Let's get started. This one is by underscore underscore zeal underscore. Maybe I could just say zeal, I don't know. Other people have only 69 and 420 for funny numbers. The SCP fandom. Pathetic. You know, it, so we got 173. For funny numbers, though, right? Cause, I mean, like, if we're thinking about the numbers that, like, remind us of something. I mean, you've got 682, you've got 999, you've got... But funny numbers? I mean, there's a lot of jokes made about 173. That's kind of it? I don't know. If, if there's something I'm missing, leave it... I mean, there's anything can be made a joke out of. But I'm talking about, like... When you hear the number, you don't immediately think that's a joke. I, I can't think of anything other than 173. So I don't know where you're coming from, Zeal. I mean, correct me in the comments if you think if you could think of something else. There are some funny S. Uh, by the way, there are other funny SCPs, but I don't recognize them by number. Uh, this one's by a Joey boy. <laughs> I believe the title of this was when you post your first SCP. I mean, not everyone fails the first time. That's not going to make you feel better, but uh, it's true. <laughs> I, hmm. And that's actually not true. And, and, and I know that you're probably not meaning it in a literal sense. I'm going to take this way too seriously because I think it's important for new authors. Just because your v article is downvoted doesn't, ha doesn't have any kind of commentary on you as a person. They don't hate you. They don't even hate your article. Most of the time, they're pretty ambivalent about it. But it it's a signal that your article isn't either isn't good enough for the site or something about it isn't appropriate for the site. And I don't mean inappropriate as in too adult or too something. You know, you know. What I mean is, is that the site is sort of expecting a particular type of content and even very, well, I should say, even very good content doesn't succeed extremely well on the SCP wiki um, if it kind of d breaks the mold. But then again, there are articles that do that and do well. And I don't think most of the time it leads to them getting downvoted. It does lead to a lot of neutral votes and a lot of difficulty getting people to read it in the first place. But just if you fail... Take it as, take it as, not evidence, but take it as a lesson for the future. Look at what you did wrong. Usually there's comments that will t tell you because everybody is an expert when it comes to uh, downvoting stuff. But look at the comments, see what people are telling you, and use that to improve your article for the next time. And if for some reason, join the community and be like, hey, I wrote this article here, and I kind of would like to know what I'm doing wrong, or so I saw this feedback from such and such, and I'd like to kind of get a better handle on what they were trying to say. I wouldn't do a wiki.pm, and I definitely, because that's a little bit less, um, it's a little bit more formal, but definitely, you know, look into what you did wrong and or what you did that didn't work and uh, work on correcting it for the next time. Marshall Carter and Dart doing an XK into the world scenario. I actually, and this is by BitterGur4613. I saw this and it gave me an idea immediately because I, I go through the uh, full list of memes and then um, I curate out the ones that I think I can have something to talk about. Um and this one gave me an idea the first time I saw it, and that's that each group of interests sort of has their own, certainly has their own versions of the end of the world. And while Marshall, Carter, and Dart probably have, you know, protocols in place for actual ends of the world, like, you know, an asteroid strike or some sort of reality-altering phenomenon that destroys the world, or even um, when daybreak sort of stuff, they also probably have a couple extra, like, oh, I don't know. What if money stopped working? What if money stopped being worth anything? <laughs> and I was thinking about like what the other uh, GOIs might have too, but mostly I, my brain was focused on Marshall, Carter, and Dark when the idea hit. But I mean, like each GOI would have their own things, right? Like what kind of stuff do you think that they 
that uh, the chaos insurgency or the GOC would be looking at the GOC for the GOC, like the end of the veil would be like the end of the world. They don't just care about like the veil in a serious way. They're like, Oh no, the world, a world without normalcy is, is no longer the world for them. So and everyone has their own, every one of the GOIs has their own little version of that. This one is by C21 Arthur. Finally, now bright is allowed to do. I want you guys to know I spent about 20 minutes talking about this me, and I'm cutting it all out. I talked about censorship. I talked about people with mental illnesses who were um, attached to Bright, the character, in, in extremely destructive ways. And the removal of Bright from the SCP Wiki is causing them actual like psychological harm. Uh, and then I realized that um, this is a meme reaction. <laughs> video and i probably should save that for its own video if i'm gonna do talk about that kind of stuff so um yeah i guess i'm just moving on now this uh, meme is by claire lestrange me enjoying a well-written tale 056 writing 682 like some kind of megalomaniac uh megalomaniac cowboy oh fuck so you know i gosh there are fun stories on the SCP Wiki, right? Like, and there's nothing wrong with that. Something can be fun and well written. And maybe that tale that you're referencing. Like, the only time I remember 682 being written is from uh, is Duke Till Dawn. Um, so I'm not sure if that's what you're referencing here or if it's something else. Because it looks it was about the Ouroboros cycle. So I don't think Duke Till Dawn's in the Ouroboros cycle. But the same thing must happen there, I guess? Question mark? Um, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's fine. If it's well-written, it's well-written. Who cares if it's funny and, or silly? <laughs> this one is by Dim and Bright. Oh boy, time to read more SCP articles. Object class, safe, strike through, Euclid. Ugh, what did you do this time, Foundation? All right, I have, I have two things to say about this. First of all, strike throughs in digital documents are kind of ridiculous. You could just say, like, uh, this was... This used to, if it's, is, is it safe anymore? No. Then why does it still say safe? You don't strike through digital documents. You just backspace, 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 and then type Euclid. You, ugh. second of all, <laughs> that's a stylistic thing, but second of all, uh, so, you know, sometimes it's not the foundation's fault. Sometimes it's the anomaly's fault. Sometimes, not always. Uh, this is the last one by Fravash1. A nice short article. Offsets and collapsibles. Yeah. Yeah. I get a little a little tiffed on that. I really feel like word count should be like, it should be normalized to put word count in the little informational blurb you put at the top. If you put the informational blurb at the top. But even if not, put it at the top and be like, this, this article in total... But nobody, not nobody, but some people don't want to do that because they know that people don't want to, but you're not a good enough writer. That's the problem. Okay. If you were a good enough writer, this, this is the thing. <laughs> I'm going to say this is the thing again, probably. Because I, I, I want to say a thing, but I also know that it could be very offensive to certain people. And I want to try and dial that back because I want to be fair. Here's the thing. The writing on the SCP Wiki is not always amazing. If you're a good enough writer, people will read your stuff no matter how long it is. DJ Cactus has proven that. And it's not just because of name recognition. It's not just because he's DJ Cactus. It's because he's written stuff before, long stuff before, that people have read and enjoyed enough to continue and finish. Okay? You don't get to end run around that by tricking people. If you think that putting in collapsibles and putting in offsets is the only way to get someone to read your article in its full length entirety, maybe you've written too long of an article. Or maybe you're just not as good enough of a writer as you think you are. Because what you think is... And I'm going to say, this isn't for everybody. Some people do this accidentally. There are people who do it deliberately. If you think <laughs> that you're a great writer and the only reason people aren't reading your stuff is because you don't have the name recognition of someone like Cactus 
or that people have this weird ignoring the fact that they will read stuff by other authors, but ignore that and say that people just won't read long stuff on the SCP wiki. Well, respect that. What? Or be a better writer. <laughs> that's, that's the option. You could just respect people's wishes. That's also a possibility. Ugh. Makes me, it annoys me because I prefer short stuff too. I mean, I'll read a longer story every once in a while, but if I want to read a novel, I'll go read a novel by better writers. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash DeSumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who has pledged at $100. It is nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Thursday.